Alright guys, we are back. It is time for the very last part of our AM2R 100% Let's Play. <laughs> to, be, to make that clear. We are now in the Metroid... Uh, in, the, in the Chozo Laboratory, where the Metroids were believed to be grown and produced. Ooh, ah, yeah, can I not go here? There we go. The poor Chozo statue. Can't nine Metroids. I thought we were at zero. Yep. Well, as you can see, that's a Metroid egg, and we are now going to be going up against some more Metroids. Uh oh. Ah, crap. I forgot. I gotta. Uh, I forgot. I gotta do ice cream first. How did I forget? There we go. I like how they explode. Ah, what the hell? Not fast enough. Ah. Come on, go up here. See, I, I think I, I... I'm thinking of when I last played Samus Returns, because in that game, you can actually keep your Ice Beam and Missiles on at all times. This, I, I have to keep toggling, so I forgot. I, I can't have my Missiles on at first. It has to be Ice Beam, then Switch to Missiles, just like in the good old days. Also, one Super Missile does kill these guys, but I want to save them for the uh, Metroid Queen. Come on, get, over, get down here. Yeah, and the doors are locked until you kill the Metroids. I think there's some in the background here. There you are. Oops, I just, just shot a freaking sub missile. What a waste. Um, oh, I like this. This is actually the same thing in a Zero Mission. They did this little, uh, the hell? What the hell? I thought I had my ice beam on. There we go. Jeez. Oh, good. They do give me uh, super missiles. That's nice. Yeah, in Zero Mission they had that where in uh, Torian, if you shot the ground, it breaks away and then you just get exposed to all the other... Uh, get attacked by Metroids. So now there's one left and I think we all know which one that is. Just like in the original Metroid 2, we went to this room, you hear that, the crying. I'm not sure this part's supposed to be, but... Go down here. There she is. Two Metroid. Yep, only one that can actually produce Metroids, just like, it's kind of like an alien, which is kind of neat. So they, basically, long story short, this is, the only, this is the only Queen Metroid, and we have two... Wait, can I not hurt her? Why were my missiles not hurting her? Wait a minute, my missiles not hurting her. Oh, I can. I was shooting at her mouth, wasn't doing anything. It's been a while, guys, sorry. Alright, so I just gotta shoot at her head. Never mind. I thought they shoot at her mouth. Like, it seems like when she's, when she's glowing, you can't hurt her, so. Now I know. I think I'm going to save the missiles for later in the game. Yeah. Come on, take some ammo, thank you. Take some ammo, thank you. Come on. Almost there. There we go. Ah. Well, I can shoot her when she's. Oh, I thought. I, I, didn't, know, I, I didn't know you can shoot her when she's just on the ground. That's kind of neat. It's an easy. Ah. I 
think I gotta speed it up a little bit with some super missiles. Ah. There we go. There we go. Uh oh, here she goes. This part I like how they added how like she destroys the uh, the laboratory and just chases after you. It's pretty cool. Uh oh. Come on, let's go. Little, little puzzle here. Yeah. Missiles were not working. Come on. Absorb missiles? Thank you. Uh oh. To keep going. It's cool, but we've actually been through these hallways. As you can tell, when you do more damage, it gets faster and faster. There we go. Yeah, super missiles just... Alright, now now I can just start using missiles because they're just so much faster. The, uh, su the super missiles are much faster at killing her. I think this is the last spot, actually. Maybe not. One more, one more trip through the caves. Ah. Well, actually, now she just broke out of the labs. Now we are in the caves. Alright, this might be the end. Uh-oh. Hiya! Uh-oh. Time to say goodbye. Obviously, they got that from uh, Metroid Other M, which I, I do like. I, that's the way you kill her. I don't know. I, I, get, I think you can kill her with just Morph Ball Bombs, just like in the original game. But it's cool how the Power Bomb just completely like obliterates her. And so, guys, that's it. But there is still one more Metroid on our counter. And that's because, remember, when we first went into the uh, labs, we saw that egg. A Metroid egg. So... There it is. Oh, a baby Metroid. And as you guys may have known, the baby Metroid, you know, when it first hatches, looks at Samus and thinks it's, it's her mother, so it won't hurt her. And Samus wants to take the Metroid back. So that way they can uh, do some, take it back to the scientists to, to, to research him. So it's cool. And now we have a beautiful, beautiful melody as we go back to the surface. And I absolutely, it actually is a, 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 a uh, a remastering of the original soundtrack, and I just, I love it. Even the original's really good, but, like, my god, in this, it's so, so peaceful. And here, just like, in, also, in the original Metroid 2, for some reason, the Metroid can, can eat these little blocks or whatever. I'm not quite sure what they are, but, yeah, it can eat them. You can't break them, but the Metroid lets you get past them, so that way you can get to the surface. That's cool. Actually, with this, we actually are, like, legit, like, climbing all the way up through the Metroid Hive to the laboratory. We're going right to the surface, which is kind of cool. How it all, you know... There you go. Eat. Eat my child. Come on. Unfortunately, we're not playing Metroid Samus Returns, otherwise we would have had him in a, an amazing secret final boss, which I'm sure many of you know who that is. But in this, no, this is just like in the original Metroid 2. You defeat the Metroid Queen, you get the baby Metroid, and you take it back to your ship, and that's game over. Also, which I like, earlier when we left, went to the surface, we saw that it was like... It was, uh, like in twilight at dusk. Now we are actually at nighttime, and man, they, they do a great job making the surface of SR-38 look really cool at nighttime. Again, like, this, this blue rock is really cool, but then with, like, the, like the, the, uh, the teal neon green moss that grows, it, it looks really nice. Come on. Really cool looking. Yeah, and, and these, like, glowing fungus eyes just really makes it look cool. And here we are. 
I actually don't know what else is around here. I think it's just it's all just open space. But yeah, I love the background. Really cool looking. And uh, there's our ship. So can I do speed booster just to go faster? Yeah. Oh, almost there. And guys, that's it. That's that's Metroid AM2R. Huh. So, yeah, I uh, do think this is an amazing fan game. I think it's like really impressive what the team did. I mean, granted, it took ten years to make this game, but obviously it paid off. Another Metroid 2 remake. Can I speed through this? No. Milton, Dr. M. Guasi. Nice. So yeah, just want to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, my next Let's Play, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of doing Metroid Zero Mission. There actually, I did learn from some people on, fa people on Facebook that I were like, like watching some of these videos. They, they mentioned that there's some really good uh, Metroid fan hack, hack games, like, or fan made games, like, like you know, like ROM, uh, ROM hacks. And uh, some of them do sound really interesting, so I might have to take a look at some of them. So one of them is like a super, it's a, it's su it's a legitimately Super Metroid graphics, and obviously it's an expansion upon that, like all new worlds and enemies. So that sounds kind of cool. I definitely want to take a look at that. There was also the one super, uh, Metroid Zero Mission that was called uh, Disturbance, Metroid Disturbance. I think I've tried that before. I, I, I might actually try to finish it this time. But uh, yeah, I definitely want to play some more of the actual, like, pretty sure Gunpei Yokoi. Original staff. Nice. I, I do like how they uh, they recognize the original, you know, Megas of Metroid 2. It's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, I do uh, want to continue on with some of these Let's Plays. They're a lot of fun. I'm, I think Zero Mission is definitely going to be next on my list. And uh, while I'm doing that, I do want to work on some other Metroid videos. Uh, maybe, like, some uh, discussion videos. Oh, the next one is going to be the Metroid Prime Trilogy, which, again, I mentioned. Uh, I, I put out a poll in the poll. The poll said that people want to see a Metroid Prime discussion. So that would be the next video. In memory of Satoru Iwata. I don't think I got the best ending, like, uh, picture-wise, but still pretty cool. Yeah, four hours. Again, 100%, alright. Like, if I wasn't doing a Let's Play, it'd be done a lot faster. It's just, you know, because I, I like talking to you guys while I'm playing. See you next mission. Man, I love the artwork in the guy. Like, the, the fan-made artwork is, is, is beautiful. It really is. Alright, guys, like I said, uh, so... That's Metroid AM2R. If you guys haven't played it, I would say... Metroid oh. is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Forgive me. I forgot that is actually the last... Uh, the last part of this. Uh, kind of like calling out that the next game this would be Super Metroid, because that's how Super Metroid starts. We saw it to be continued. But uh, yeah, so I, if you guys... Have, if, if you're, if you're a, a real Metroid fan, and you haven't played this game, I implore you to, to play it. It's the, not an official Metroid game, but this is just... It's a real passion project that I think any Metroid fan will should appreciate, and it actually is a very well done like Metroid game, like mechanic wise. It's very it's very well done. It is a game made by fans for fans, and so uh, yeah, guys, I think that's it. Again, thanks for watching, and please tune in next time for another Metroid AM another Metroid Let's Play and or another Metroid discussion video. So uh, yeah, I'm Mike with the Collector's Vault, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.